comedian, David Boyle, and I'm quitting alcohol. So I've been jitsing hard this week. We've got grading this Thursday. I've almost got all the moves down. I didn't want to get humiliated like I did last time. It was too much for me. That's how I've grown. Usually I would just be like, fuck it. I know I can get away with just half assing it. Just fucking half knowing the moves and just going off the other people next to me. And plus the people who are fucking watching you, they're not going to say, hey, this cunt does not deserve his third stripe. They're just some fucking brown belts and black belts and shit just watching you. Yeah, he did all right, yeah. They're trying to get you through too, but fucking, I can't do that anymore. Plus, I want to get better. What's the fucking point of doing it if you don't know the actual techniques? It's not going to help in a fight if I tell someone I'm three stripes and don't know the moves and get my ass kicked anyway. I fucking turned up early today and they were training MMA like proper in the cage shit. I fucking wouldn't half mind trying that. They were wearing gloves, they were wearing fucking shin guards, they were fucking wearing helmets, not helmets, headgear. (laughs) They weren't just a couple of retards in there with helmets. That's how I'd rock up with a fucking stack hat. A stack hat's still a thing, they were the fucking sweetest. That was full retard helmet. I have one of those yellowy orange ones. The yellowy orange stack hats with a clearer sign you're dealing with a retard. That was my stack hat. It's just full, thick plastic with a little bit of fucking cushion inside. Like, honestly, I think it was for like five or six and above because if you had a stack hat on your head and you went off center, the stack hat would just fucking take you off the bike. Your head would lean to the fucking side and you'd be off. But luckily, you're wearing a fucking stack hat and there's nothing that can penetrate a stack hat. The fucking the fucking ironic thing about that is the stack hats are almost impenetrable, but they're only protecting the brains of retards. And then they moved on to like the helmets they have now, like the first versions of those, and it's like, what's the fucking point of wearing this? I dropped one once and it broke. I was like, I think I'll stick with my stack hat, thank you very much, even though I didn't wear a helmet most of the time. Helmets were for homos. <laughs> Uh, anyway, these MMA guys, they were pretty protected, but they were still fucking, they were still throwing kicks to the head, so you've got to handle the kicks to the head, then you've got to handle fucking kicks to the ribs and the thighs, and then when the kicks aren't coming, there's glove in your fucking nose, and once there's glove in your nose, they're fucking close enough to take you down, And when they fucking take you down in the cage, it's not like on the mats. It's actually getting fucking smashed into the ground. It looks like fun when you're watching the UFC on TV with the fucking sound turned down. When you're right next to the cage, it doesn't really sound as good. But I'm up for it. I think you have to do a certain amount of kickboxing and a certain amount of jujitsu before they let you fucking in the cage though. I was thinking maybe I will do the kickboxing again. I did it on the Patreon. I answered that question. Am I going to do stand-up again? Muay Thai or boxing? And it's an itch I need to scratch. I feel like if I do six months of stand-up as well as the jiu-jitsu, that will give me a good enough base where I can just fucking train myself if I need to. If I want to. But do I need to? That's the big fucking question. I feel like I've left my run a little late on the professional martial artist. Just a touch late. I will tell you this though. Getting your ass kicked like three times a week and doing some ass kicking fucking takes the anger right out of you. Paradoxically, it makes you want to fucking smash people in the street less. So you're less likely to get into a fight if you're fighting in the gym all the time. It's wild. And you want to be fighting in the gym more than you want to be fighting on the street. If you're fighting in the street, anything can happen. There's too many fucking variables. You get into a fight with some cunt. He has two friends to the side. You're fighting him. You get fucking haymaker, stomped. The cunt pulls out a fucking knife. 
even a gun. They fucking jump back in their car. They run you over. Fucking anything could happen on the street. In the gym, it's controlled aggression. So you still get it out of the system, but you do it in a fucking healthy way. So as much as I talk about fucking wanting to choke out cunts at Subway, and I do fantasize about it still, I fucking am less likely to actually do it now that I know how to do it. And now that I am actually fighting a few days a week. So I'm fucking, I'm thinking I might just start going to the fucking kickboxing again. And then once I've done like three months of kickboxing, I can fucking start doing MMA. Like I'm curious, I, I would like to spar MMA. I would like to go into the cage a couple of times with someone and spar proper MMA. Even if it means getting my ass kicked. At least it will take the fantasy out of my fucking mind. Like kickboxing did at the start. I was like, I'm going to come in and fucking Van Damme this shit. And I was the worst ever. But because I haven't done kickboxing in a while, that fantasy is coming back in. And I think I'm starting to get better at kickboxing. Even though I haven't done it at all in fucking how long? Nine months. So maybe I do need to start the kickboxing back up so I can get rid of that fantasy. Anyway. I've got my fucking third stripe grading this Thursday. So I'll be doing a hell of a lot of fucking jits over the next few days. Anyway, that's my weekend. Just fucking jits and snits, baby. Jits and fucking snits. All right, that'll do it for today. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll see you the fuck later.